Hello people, Fisher Shots here, bringing you another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about screen calibration. How to make your screen look really good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get started. First you want to go to whatever driver you use, or whatever software that comes to your video card. Mine is AMD, but this works on anyone that has uh, desktop management or desktop controls you'll see something that uses desktop color and this is where all the magic happens this is what makes your monitor look so good but not everyone has it activated so let me show you what you do you go to calibration this is what you would normally do to your monitor you would get this run this program and you would calibrate it so this one you want to have good gamma high gamma this, this is what you want but then you use this little bar to mess with it. You want to, you know, you don't want it too high, too low. By the way, you can't see this uh, because it only works on mine, on your monitor. So you just can't see what I'm looking at unless I have a video camera, but the, the quality is going to look horrible. So I'm just demonstrating for you so you can try this out. When I do this, it's really bright when I do this it's really dark but there's no fine tuning in between that's where this comes into play now that I got rid of this now that I use this I can reactivate this and use my settings over here so now using this test but using these tools I have a lot more control on how bright and how dark I want it to get so this one adjusting my gamma I do this, I find a nice medium right there. My gamma looks beautiful. Next page. Next page. So over here, you want to be able to see the suit. You don't want it too dark, pitch black, you can't see it. And you don't want it too bright. Right now, it's it just I have to mess with it. It's like right there. You want to keep it dark enough so you can barely see the X but you don't want to hide all the details on the suit. Now the reason why I'm emphasizing this so much is that these controls give you so much so much more options when it comes to scaling than your monitor. My monitor, I couldn't even I couldn't even see the suit. It was just pitch black, gray, it was ugly. And uh I was messing around and I found this out. So let's uh let's continue. The contrast I want to find it so that it's bright, my shirt's bright, but I can see all this button. This bottom button, if you have too much contrast, it's going to disappear. You want to get a fine medium. Next, the rest of this, you really don't need a touch unless you really see blue or green. Normally, I just keep this stock. And then, if you see your previous calibration and your current calibration, you'll see a huge difference. Absolute huge difference. And say you didn't like it. Say after you calibrated, you still don't like it. This is what you do. You come on here. You look at your background, and just adjust it. I personally recommend using the test. I feel like the test is absolutely needed. Uh, by the way, after you do your calibration, you might have to reactivate it, like mine. But as you activate it and apply it, I mean, my de my desktop looks amazing from my view. It looks exactly how you see it in the stream. It just looks nice and crispy. But before I did this, it looked uh, it looked very pale. I couldn't see this object in the trees. I mean, it looked horrible. So what I recommend you doing is get a nice HD background and mess with your calibration. You want it to look nice and crispy like this. You know, even if you're not a streamer, if you're not recording, you just want to open your computer to a nice monitor, a nice looking screen. I was going to upgrade my monitor. I'm not going to do it anymore. I love the way it looks right now. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you have a nice looking background like this. And uh, hopefully you subscribe. Uh, post down below if you have any comments or recommendations on future videos. And uh, thanks for watching.